This is Twit. I am looking for a solution for backup and encrypted backup. I've got two uh, PCs at home. I use them for business and for, uh, for personal. Uh, they both got uh, two SSDs, one for the operating system, one for the data. And I'm looking for a way to encrypt uh, all the data and also uh, into an encrypted backup. If you uh, turn on encryption on the drive, and many drives you can do that, uh, that's effective. That's uh, As far as I know, there's no way around that. Uh, if you want to go even farther, there are good solutions uh, for encryption. I like TrueCrypt, which is free and open source, TrueCrypt.org. Every operating system also has a drive-based encryption, Mac File Vault, uh, Windows BitLocker. Those are also very good. But you've got to be a little careful when you do this. If you use even TrueCrypt, BitLocker, or File Vault, if you lose the, the password, you've lost your data. There's no recovery possible. And uh, with BitLocker, with the Windows solution, it's even more complicated because it's a certificate-based encryption. So you have to make sure you back up the certificate. You don't lose it. You know, but, lean towards TrueCrypt, actually. Yeah, TrueCrypt is a wonderful solution. Um, um, I'm getting some different feedback on whether to encrypt the, uh, the operating system or just encrypt the data drive. Um, what's your opinion? Well, if you, if you, if you want to trust no one and do true, I, nobody can see my stuff, you have to uh, encrypt everything. Because the operating system stores information about you. For instance, the, uh, the swap file has just kind of random memory data in it. And there's also slack space on the hard drive, space that was used by a file. The file's been released, but the operating system never erases that uh, sector until it's reused. So the data just sits there and is available. So really, if you want to, if you, what you're worried about is somebody snooping on you, uh, you want to do full disk encryption on all your disks. That's that's basically it, um, and it'll it'll do a good job for you. It's fast nowadays. Encryption is so quick that you don't notice any penalty from doing it. There's no performance hit, so that's a good solution. You I, won't I, be able to, to easily back that up uh, if it's encrypted. Well, yeah, it's just backing it up. I mean, backup is just backup. Now, if uh, are you 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 should, if you're backing it up to a hard drive, you're going to encrypt the hard drive. The whole all of these when you log in, they're unencrypted. So as soon as you log into your account, or if you're using TrueCrypt, as soon as you unlock TrueCrypt, it's it's unencrypted. Now it's backing up just like a normal file to a hard drive. But that hard drive is encrypted. As soon as you shut down, it's in, it's it's unreadable. It's random data. So I could still use a program like Acronis or something to do my backup, oh, yeah. even though it's in, encrypted. Oh, yeah. It'll recognize the, the changes in the file. That's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Internally, uh, it looks unencrypted. It's only to the bad guy after he gets your heart, steals your hard drive, that there's nothing there. There's garbage. And what about cloud backup? If it's all backed up in a true crypt, if I try to use a cloud backup system? Uh... Well, that's going to have the same thing because, okay, so let's say you're using Carbonite. You're running Carbonite. At the time you're running it, you're logged in. Nothing is encrypted. It's all visible. Carbonite will back it up unencrypted. So then if you want to do encryption, you'll have to use a solution. Carbonite offers this, but other, other companies do as well, that backs up your data on the cloud. Now, when you, or rather encrypts your data on the cloud, Carbonite will do that. And they do it, and this is how you want it with what I call, or actually my friend Steve calls, trust no one encryption. That is, they don't have the password, only you do. The drawback to that is some of the features that people use Carbonite for, like cloud storage, no longer work for obvious reasons. Your stuff is encrypted. But uh, but if you're if you're truly paranoid, and I think it's probably the case that if you're storing stuff in the in, on the internet, you probably should be. That's where you should encrypt stuff. Exactly. Uh, then you can do that. Um, you know, I'll give you an example. Dropbox. A lot of people use Dropbox, and they use it, it both as a backup and as a way of syncing hard drives. Um, they have the key. They have the key. So that means a rogue employee could look at stuff. The uh, if the NSA comes and knocking, they're ha they're going to give it over. And uh, now that Condoleezza Rice is on their board of directors, the woman who actually put together the <laughs> as national security advisor put together the surveillance government that we have, I think you probably could just safely assume that Dropbox will be very cooperative with government-to-government -government requests. So if you had stuff you didn't want anybody to see, Dropbox would be a bad choice unless you, you know, only uh, uh, synced crypt encrypted files. And can you use True TrueCrypt with existing uh, SSDs, or should those, uh, do you have to install TrueCrypt before you actually start to use no, them? No, you can use it, at, you can turn it on any time. 
I'll turn on any time. It, the, it, the first time you do, though, it'll go as it churns through everything, encrypting it. SSDs, there's a, 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 an argument that all SSDs should be encrypted because you cannot f guarantee you a full erasure of SSDs. The way SSDs work is not the same as a spinning hard drive works. They do something to prevent uh, a wear on any particular cell. They do something called wear leveling, which means the data is stored kind of randomly and there isn't a good way to erase everything. So a lot of security folks say, you know, there is no real secure erase for SSDs. That would be your smartphone and a solid state drive in your computer. Those should probably always be encrypted before you even put anything on them. Because once something's been on there, you can't guarantee it's been erased. Spider Oak, another good choice. Somebody's suggesting Spider Oak. That is trust no one encryption. There are a handful of these. In fact, Steve Gibson, the security, my security guru, as I refer to him, uh, did a, a show. I'll see if I can find the episode number on these cloud storage solutions and which ones had the keys, which means they could look at what your stuff is, and which ones didn't. And he and he specifically uh, mentioned Spider Oak as one that doesn't. I think that's a good one.